Hey guys, Vive here, here to give you a quick rundown of our playoffs performance for RLCS Winter Regional 1. Uh, coming into Regional 1, there wasn't any more or less preparation than normal. Obviously coming through Christmas and New Year period, a lot of teams had, had that time off. So we were just doing our thing, scrimming when we could. I myself had a lot of things on, so the guys were just doing their own personal thing, practicing when they could, working through their stuff as they had it pop up. It was just a normal off season for the most part, right up until the actual event. Coming into it, we saw a group, Group D, we had for Kidden, Eclipse Esports and Red Crane Esports. We were pretty confident coming in that we'd get that 3-0, obviously for Kidden beating us, regional three of the last split. We had some, I guess, revenge we wanted to get on them. Uh, not that it meant any more or less than any other team that we could have come up against. It was nice to get that win, even though they were having their technical issues. Expectations coming into the upper semi-finals against Wildcard, we were pretty confident going in. We've never really struggled per se against Wildcard and their gameplay. It's been something that we kind of we've always felt comfortable against, and um, so we were confident going into that one. But it was, should be a pretty solid 4-1, 4-2 performance from the boys. Waiting for the play to come to you. So I think Direwolves might have a bit of a playstyle advantage if they do lean on that uh, on those demos. Caveman Bend and not enough pace. No, it's still tied at 1-1. There's 30 seconds left remaining, but again, it seems like both teams relatively defensive. I wouldn't be too surprised if we get Ooh. into it. Quick to get back. This was looks into the claws of Wildcard. They seem solid. Oh, underneath. Oh. That open, wriggled it out and takes home the victory. 4-0 would have been nice, obviously, but again, Wildcard's one of those teams where they can just come out and snipe some games off us. It's like anyone else. Uh, so 4-1 was a comfortable win. Uh, the lads were playing their game. Uh, things were showing to be clicking on and off the pitch. And yeah, gave us some nice confidence going into Sunday. Misty absolutely popping off, obviously got him pretty hyped for Sunday. He's, uh, his confidence was through the roof in terms of how he felt he was playing, which was nice. You know, it looks like the job's not done for Direwolves. Uh, seems like they'll be uh, pushing further and further and hoping to win the next series as well. Going into the series against Renegades, they've always been that team that we've kind of struggled against. So coming into it, we were confident in our play style and knew that if we just did our thing, the result would come. Because uh, normally Renegades are that team to disrupt our play style. So we just went in focusing on doing our thing, not letting them disrupt us uh, rather than disrupting them. And grinding out there from what I've been able to gather. So like these are the two teams, best two results thus far. They have been the two teams that have been working the hardest. I don't think it's that much of a surprise, Misty! I mean, the 4-1 win was good. We It gave us a lot of confidence going forward coming into that grand final knowing we were playing our game how we wanted to. Two teams that have never won before. One of them guaranteed to be our new champions, Max. Coming into the grand final, we knew for Kid were coming in hot. Obviously, a 4-2 win against Bliss and then a 4-1 against Renegades. They were going to be confident. The adrenaline would be pumping. They were warm coming off two best of sevens back to back. Meanwhile, we'd been watching for two hours. We knew it was going to be a rough start. The first game, we started off really slow. They got two or three quick goals in the first 90 seconds or so. We brought it back in the rest of that game. So we brought it back, but it wasn't enough. So we just reset. We used that minute in between games, came into game two. Uh, a bit more confident. The adrenaline for them was worn down. We expected it to be worn down. And we knew that we just needed another game or two to kind of warm things up. You go down 2-0, you, your timeout, it's just, it's the smart time to use it. Cause if you leave it one game later and the timeout's not enough and you have pretty much botched your chance of getting back into the series. So we knew with their momentum, that timeout would hopefully slow them down and give us a chance to just relax, get the nerves off, reset, come in hot. Game three, we obviously did that. EU, NA, Sam, everybody matched up. Was how much oh. of Dire Direwolves, they're looking like a new team. Well, this is how we saw Walcott do it when he took Ooh. the grand final. Throwing it down, does that go in? Not quite super lucky with the save. Even still, you see Banana Head chasing Fireball. They <laughs> are going for it right now. And it's a good opportunity oh, to no. the faked out. Walcott. Direwolves 4-1 now there. Getting a three goal lead, they're getting a four goal lead. And you can see again, this should be another opening. It's in Fiber, but doesn't quite get the goal. There's still a lot of time in this game, and I don't know if that favors for you. Oh. It's just oh, more no. time for you to score an own goal. 7 2 was a great win. It got momentum swing in our favor compared to theirs coming off two hours. They were probably getting a bit fatigued. So the second that momentum swung in our way, we knew we had that upper edge coming into games four through six. The games were still very close. One goal a game is obviously, it's a nice win, but 
it shows we've still got room to go and uh, step forward from. Uh, I think two of those three games, they had zero second shot opportunities where we kind of just pulled back a little bit too much and kind of relied on the clock to run it down instead of continuing to play that game, which had us on edge a little bit, but I mean, we got the job done coming at 4-2, so we can't complain with our regional win, right? Wow. Oh. Yeah, I can't. I've got to wait, I got to wait to that one. You get, you get. I got, yeah, yeah. Nice. One there, back post. I can't, I got to wait, got to wait, got to wait, banana. When are you there? I got it. Winning that regional one was the first big win we've had as a team. I know Fiber especially was extremely hype about it. I mean, the preparation for next regional is going to be no different. We just got to make sure we keep playing our game, doing what we want to do, working on one percenters, not letting other teams disrupt us, just playing our game. Uh, and hopefully we get another similar result to regional one, pushing us into a good spot for a major performance. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go.